Okay, I want to show everyone how I navigate and use OpenSea.io, which is a marketplace for digital assets that are also known as NFTs. And NFT stands for non-fungible token, which means that they're all different. Bitcoins and Litecoins are all exactly the same. So if you and I exchanged one Litecoin for one Litecoin, we would end up with exactly the same thing. But if you and I exchange car.eth for shop.eth, they're different. So they have a, a set of criteria that explain what they are and what they do, and then you can use them. Um, so land parcel might be something else. A land parcel that's out, you know, in the mountain area might not be worth as much as one that's right on the road or a main road or close to the city center or um, an island. So um, non-fungible tokens are all different. Fungible tokens are all the same. That's on the Ethereum blockchain, which uh, fungible tokens are ERC-20 tokens, which are not offered here. ERC-20 tokens are what most people are used to and accustomed to on exchanges such as Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and all other ICO type coins that have come out in the past. But these are digital assets. And if you want to go to the rankings, um, you can see the different rankings in order by the most volume. And you can use all these different things. So the market cap, average price, owners, uh, Decentraland is right up there. Ethereum name services is popular because it was just an auction recently. And there's a couple other popular ones here. But um, I've been buying some of these ENS names because they are very popular. These forward to your Ethereum address. Um, so what you want to do is come right up here and you can click on the asset that you want. Some namespace has land parcels for sale. So you can see all the land parcels here waterfront versus roadfront you can see the price difference automatically almost double for a waterfront compared to a roadfront right off the bat uh, both medium size and then you can go to ens names ethereum name service instead of domain name service in the dot com area so you can see the different price points here um, something like amazon Sold for a hundred Ethereum, which is about eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars, and um, Google sold for a lot too. Fifty-two Ether. Um, so when you're using this, you can click on ENS names, which I did. You click on the asset up here, and then within ENS names, you're searching now all ENS names. If I go back to Somnium Space, I'm searching everything within Somnium Space, and you can type in medium, large. You can filter on the left hand side over here for only medium parcels i only want medium parcels and then you can come over here to this filter and click on expiring soon for auctions anyone that's auctioning auctioning off a parcel uh, recently sold so this one was recently sold for three it's a waterfront three it's a waterfront so you can check and see the price points this is half the price for a roadfront 1.5 this is a bundled listing um, this one sold for 2.5 and 1.65 on the road you can see the clear difference between the roads and the water people are valuing the water much higher an nft an erc21 token a non-fungible token that's what these all are so i can buy this and it will go into my address which i have under my account right here uh, all of my activity that's been going on it shows you well that's the activity of all i have to click on my account first and then my activity this is how much Ethereum I have. These are the different parcels and things that I've made offers on. You can click on only sales right here. Only sales, I've sold some ENS names recently, you know, 0 0.17, 0 0.15, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.17. I bought a lot of them, so I'm selling a decent amount on average. These are the items that are in your wallet and you can click so battle racers is a race car game and you buy car parts and make cars i thought that was kind of cool because i figured a lot of people would use a uh, race car game early on uh, some of the other games on here are pretty confusing they're um, not necessarily confusing but hard a, a big learning curve and a race car game doesn't usually have a big learning curve you get a car you race it you win and then things happen from there um, this is ethereum name service i can click within here i have a couple good last names my own last name you can search within 
your area right here. And let's see, my items, my activity, my offers. These tabs are all right here as well, so you can click on my offers. These are offers that I have made to other people for their digital assets. These are offers on my items, my digital assets. Somebody has offered me for 76ers.eth.2 uh, Ethereum. So if you go to Etherscan, which is the blockchain for Ethereum, and you click on this address, this is somebody else's address. So this is kind of cool too. Let's, let's look at this. This is uh, me. You found me on here and you say, wow, who is this guy? So you click on the Ethereum address, which is supposed to be the most anonymous blockchain technology in the world, right? And then you go to etherscan.io slant address and you replace this other address with your address, paste. Now it shows you 2.34. You can see this is the same person, 2.34. And then in this little drop down tab here, you can see everything that I own, which are ERC20 tokens first. Even if you only own a tiny, tiny bit, it still shows it for you. Those are all my ERC20 tokens. And then, um, so I own some Somnium Cubes. Somnium Cubes are the in-world currency of the Somnium world compared to the land parcels, which are all unique and different. You can see when you get down here, now you have ERC20 tokens, which are non-fungible tokens, the NFTs, CryptoKitties, uh, land parcel, ENS names, all different names. Battle Racer car parts, all the car parts are different. Uh, this is my own token. These are a couple free ones that people just sent over doing like an airdrop. Somnium space you saw at the very bottom, I just had um, a bunch of parcels in Somnium space. So um, if you wanted to, this only shows the land parcels and the non-fungible tokens. It doesn't show what this person might have. So you click here and you can see that this person has 2.3 Ether, which is a balance of $450. And then I have $100 worth of tokens uh, inside my wallet too. So little things, you know, this RCN token, $2 worth, $2 worth of uh, USD token, Tether, and a little bit of wrapped Ethereum. You use that to make offers on OpenSea. So you can be on here on OpenSea and searching around and then find a decent amount of information on somebody else. So let's just click on a random one here. Um, let's just click on this parcel, this small parcel. Let's see who owns it. This guy owns it right here. So let's click on his account. It goes to his account, his Ethereum address, his or her is right here. So I'm gonna copy that address from OpenSea. They own a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, Somnium Space 2, Decentraland, Crypto Beasties, all these different assets that are online. So um, let's click here, replace this address. They have 1.24 Ether and they have $10,000 worth of other um, e ERC20 or, yep, look at this one. So Decentraland Mana, they have $8,000 worth of Mana, 269,000 tokens. Uh, so you can find out a decent amount about somebody. They have eight ether, uh, $1,500 worth. And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom under ERC 20, uh, 721, it's going to show all of the exact same thing. So 10 Decentraland tokens and, um, 136 crypto beasties. So let's see if they have 136 crypto beasties, crypto beasties, 136. So there you go. It shows exactly what they have. Um, and OpenSea is tracking all the ERC 721 tokens. Uh, so you can dig into people a little bit, go back to your account, my items, you see uh, your Ethereum, your stuff here, this is my token. Um, I made subdomains off of Bell, which I did mostly all here on OpenSea. If you come to develop and then go to, uh, oops, did not mean to do that. Hover over develop, click on store manager, and you can create your own store. And once you create your own store, it's very simple, you just name it and you put a picture. And once you do that, you can start creating your own tokens. And when you create your own token, all you need is this information here, which is a link. So I'll click this link anyway. It goes to um, etherscan.io to show the ray.bell subdomain that I created. And if you put your address into this, if you buy this token from me, I will forward your address. Um, I will forward ray.bell.eth to your address, which will show up here and you'll see everything that you have. You need a picture, which I did in PowerPoint. You need a link, which I created after I did the subdomain. 
and then you need to name it and that's about it and put a price and put it for sale you can put a picture of anything on here and you can make a token about absolutely anything um, and just sell it if you want to so those are some cool things that you can do on here you can also sell a bundle of items these are all my items so if I wanted it so you can see added 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 so I added three items to my bundle and at the bottom down here you can price it you can name it um, bundle of three items ENS names and then you can put a link if you want to you can put a description if you want to you put a price right here 25 ethereum or you can also sell it in all of these other tokens if you want to sell it in decentralized mana or usdc you can sell things for usd and it goes into a smart contract and once it's in the smart contract and somebody pays the amount that you asked for they get the item and you get the money it's very simple it's all done online there's no trust involved you don't have to worry about collecting money from anyone or sending first or they send the money first you don't have to worry about any of that you can also gift even if items are for sale you can gift multiple items from one address to another address i noticed in my activity that someone that just bought one of the recent names from me ended up transferring it to another address so what happened was i looked at ens names i had this one called copart right here and I sold it for 0.25 and this guy is the owner however down here the auction went through so I put my bid in 0.025 for ENS I won it so it went from ENS to me which is my email 18 days ago on uh, October 19th and then I placed it for sale for 0.25 and then I sold it from me to this person and then you can see they didn't sell it they took it from this address and sent it to this address. So I went here, I'm going to open this in a new tab, and I started researching this address a little bit to see who this person was, what they were doing. They were buying a few names from me. Names from me. This whole address is dead now. They were, they were buying a bunch of names from me. Let's say only sales. Look at all this. They bought all of these names, and they just like killed this address completely. So they bought all these names and then they started transferring them all to a different address, which you can also see on a on OpenSea, Copart. So it went from this address to now this address. Oop, I didn't need to do that. I'm going to right click. So I'm going to right click on this and open a new tab. Now we have these two tabs. So first they had this address. Let's look this one up. 0.5 ether and $1,800. They still have this address. They haven't changed anything. Um, it was only open for a little bit. It looked like they have 10 Ethereum. They have five ENS names still. And then they went ahead and opened this second address or it was already open. They started transferring names in to this address from here, which you'll see Copart. So you go to the blockchain again, paste $10,000 and 50. Wow. Um, okay, so this person looks like this is more of a main address, a main wallet for them. They have all of this money. They probably sent some money from this address back to this other address just to purchase some of these names. Once they purchased them, they transferred them from that wallet back to this wallet. So you'll find Copart in this wallet now, which here it is. They transferred all of those names over to this wallet. And you can see that wallet, which is their much bigger wallet. They just wanted to be a little more anonymous by um buying everything on this so when someone looked into it they say oh this person's not doing too much they don't have too much money but if they look at this address they see fifty thousand dollars worth of ethereum which is 265 ethereum then in addition to that they have ten thousand dollars worth of tokens which are mostly wrapped ethereum so they're making bids they have 200 ens names and um they're doing a lot they have a, a lot of stuff here so you can dig into people a little bit this j4 is exactly the same as this if you want to document this in excel and, and keep it then you would know that this person's the same you can also find people on discord and talk to them and negotiate with them in um in chat if you want one of these names you can try to find them online if you find them online you can talk to them about the pricing and stuff like that but this is OpenSea, and this is how you use it and navigate it and all you need is an ethereum address and when you have an ethereum address you sign in with metamask and when you sign in with metamask you do not need 
to give OpenSea your first name, last name, um, email address. You don't really need to give them any information at all. This person here didn't even give an email address. I gave my email address so that I can get notifications to uh, offers and sales and things like that, but this person doesn't look like they want any information out there at all. In fact, they're trying to even hide it a little bit more by, by doing this and not creating a name and not showing who they are on Discord, not showing what their email is. They're trying to be anonymous um, as best they can, but as you can see on the blockchain, it's not completely anonymous. You need to really, really be careful about you know what you have, what, what you're showing. This is all public information. Once you have someone's address, you can click on it and see exactly what they have online, almost like viewing someone's bank account. You can't take anything from them. You can't steal anything from them. Um, but you can look at what they have online. So if you want to be anonymous, then move your friends around a little bit more, um, put them in different addresses, but some people will still be able to figure out what's going on. Other people will not even care or not know to look around and see what you're up to. But OpenSea is pretty cool. It's like the Amazon of digital assets. It is a very cool website and I suggest you take a look and start using it.